So, um, all right, let's start. Um, so this is how you do it. We're going to start in Google Slides. So you want to use your Google account that is not a school account, your personal Google account, because your school account might have some restrictions on it. I'm going to go over to the six box array when I'm in Google um, and choose Drive. Actually, I'm in Drive already. Um, and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to New and you're going to go to Google Slides. All right. So um, I'm going to put in night presentation. Um, six six things it's just so I know what it is it has to be 20 slides and they have to advance every 15 seconds so this part is about loading the 20 slides so I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to hit this plus sign so that I have 20 slides okay if you uh, do it too many you just hit the backspace and it'll disappear so they're really easy and you can also rearrange them very easily uh, by just moving them around um, like this. Okay, so I'm on slide one, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Tools. So Tools and Explore. What this does is this adds um, a whole pane over here, which is um, the Google search engine. So um, mine is about six things I know about making matbuka, which is um, a Moroccan tomato uh, salad that my family eats all the time. So, uh, so I'm going to look for um, my search is going to be for Matbuka. Yours is going to be for whatever you're doing, okay? And I'm going to go to images and I'm going to pull up maybe a slide like this. So um, now if I click on the picture, it's just going to show me the picture. But if I click on this little plus sign right here, it puts it right into my slide. All right, and I want to make this as big as the slide. So I'm just going to make it really big. And um, and as you can see over here, this is what it looks like. It looks like we've got some space on this part of the slide. I'm just going to stretch it a little bit. So I've got the whole slide covered. Okay, now I want to do, this is my title slide. So when you're setting these up, you want a title slide, a conclusion slide, and then it's six things. So you have 18 slides, six divided by 18 is three. So you could have like four for one of them and two for some others in case one's more complex, but it's about three for each one of the six things. So I'm going to go here to the um, text box and I'm going to op open a text box right here. I'm going to um, uh, hit this little more button so that I can get to the text color because I want this text color to be white. Okay. And I want it to be kind of big. So I'm going to go over here. Yours might be a little bit, it might be up on the top or it might be here. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, I don't even think 24 is big enough. I think I'm going to go with uh, maybe 36. Okay, so I'm going to type in um, six things I know about making Okay, um, now I don't even think this is big enough. So. <laughs> I'm going to make this bold and um, maybe even make this bigger. So you're going to play around a little bit with yours. Um, that's good. I like that one. And maybe I'm going to center it. So I'm going to go here to align it. And then down here, I want my name. Um, so I'm going to do this. My name in here. Um, it doesn't have to be very big for my name. Okay, now let's look at this. Even if I do this, I might like sort of lose this in the salad, <laughs> so to speak. So there's a couple things you can do if you're losing your words in your busy slide. One of the things is you click on this and um, and you go to this little fill color and you can fill, I would usually choose a color that's close to the background like this. Now if I do this, I'm going to like destroy the beautiful uh, picture of the matbuka. So I want to make this transparent. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to custom, and then I can play with the transparency. Um, okay, so there we go. Now I can see through it, but it's actually going to make this pop more because it's actually darker behind it, even though it isn't really obvious. Um, if I if I drag it over here, you can see how much darker it is. But if it's inside of the salad thing, you can't really tell. And if this, if I want to make this a little bit more obvious, um, I can also fill this in. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So I could also like put a fill color for this, like maybe yellow so that you could see my name down there. Um, now I could also put a mask over the whole thing instead of just behind here. So one thing I would do for that um, is, hold on one second, I'm getting a phone call. I have to say I'm, I'm on the phone right now, which is a lie. Shh, don't tell. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to make this transparent again. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it for the whole slide. So if I wanted to do it for the whole slide so that I'm just kind of like making the whole slide muted and making the words more um, expressly uh, present, I'm going to go up here to these shapes. I'm going to choose a square and I'm going to choose the whole slide like this. Okay. And then, um, wait, it's not doing it. A shape, a square. Okay. The whole slide. <laughs> I know I can do this really. Shape, square, whole slide. Okay. <laughs> Um, I like to make a lot of mistakes because then you guys can make some mistakes and you won't get freaked out. All right, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill this in um, again with this dark color and I'm going to go back up here and make it transparent. So I'm going to do that with custom. I already have this one set up, so I'm just going to use it. And then I'm going to play with layers a little bit. So this is the top layer now and you can see that because my letters have become pink and they weren't pink before. So we want to move this layer back one so that the letters are standing out, but the picture is muted a little bit. So the way we do that is we're going to go to arrange and I'm going to do order and I'm going to do send backwards. So I'm going to send this backwards and it's still not working. Let me try it again. Order, um, send backward. Okay. Oh, see, you can see that the letters now are white and they're really popping. So if you have a kind of a busy slide, you might want to just mute the background so that your um, your uh, your letters will show up a little bit. Now I'm going to go back into my Google Drive and cheat a little bit because I have set up about 10 slides, not 20, um, to talk about the rest of this. So um, one of the things that that you can do is you can also set up slides that have, for example, um, just a partial area for the words. Now remember that you're only supposed to use three to six words. Do not use more than that. I do not want you reading off the slide. That is not an option here. You cannot read off the slide. So you're only going to put two or three words, maybe six at the most words in here. If the picture already has words, then you don't have to, they don't count. Okay. But otherwise, if you're adding words, just add like three or six words, not very many, please, because it has to be all about the pictures. You want to really make sure that the pictures are the most important thing because you're going to be talking over the slides and that is the important part. The pictures are just kind of like spice. They're kind of like a beautiful thing to look at while you're talking. So you do not want to be reading your slides. Please, God, don't do that. Okay, I will fail you. I will fail you. Don't do that. Okay, so in this case, I have a black background here. Now, I did that um, by just putting the picture here, like I showed you before, and then I made it smaller and I left a space. But what I wanted to do is um, to make that background, I can do change background. And here is where I made it black. I can now make it blue if I want, for example. And that changes the background for this. Actually, I kind of like the blue. I think I'll stick with the blue, but I'll make the, pick, the, um, the letters maybe red. How does that sound? So let me change the color of the letters to red. Okay, and maybe bold. Okay, that looks so much better. I'm so glad that you made me do this. All right, so we have, I'm gonna pretend like we have 20, we actually have 10 slides. So after we do that, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna go file and download into PowerPoint like that. Now PowerPoint is going to be where we're timing the slides so that you can, and, and recording your voice over the slides. So you want to do that. So I've got my um, PowerPoint here. I'm opening it up and you're going to see that it looks a lot like, um, <laughs> like Google. Okay. <laughs> and it's pretty much the same. So the way that you're going to time these slides is you're first, you're going to highlight all of them. So you're going to click on one control or command a, so you're highlighting all of them. And I'm going to go over here to, um, 
transitions. And then not this one that says sound, but the other one that says advanced slide. I'm going to unclick on mouse click and I'm going to click on after. And then I'm going to use these up arrows to make it 15 seconds so that they're automatically advancing every 15 seconds. That's what we want for this Ignite, um, this Ignite presentation, okay? Um, after we have that set up, I could do animations. Anything that you've stuck in here, you can animate. So like if I want to do the letters, I can click on animate. And then I can do like fly in and they'll come in or I can do transitions. This transitions you always do from the second slide and for the transition from the first to the second. And I'm just going to click on transitions and maybe I could choose random bars and it'll do that. Yay. OK, so when you want to record the sound for this, what you're going to do is um, you're going to set it up so that so that you um, you go to slideshow, okay, and then you're going to go to record, okay, and um, it says that I'm already recording, so I can't record, but that's where you find it, okay, <laughs> and you're going to hit that record button, all right, um, and you're just going to record your slide, and you're going to record them slide by slide so that you don't have a lot of them. Um, uh, if you mess up, you can just re-record that slide. Then when you're done, you're going to save this. Make sure that you save it, okay? And you're going to upload it into the discussion. If you have a problem uploading it into the discussion, please remember that there is a place where you can uh, put this and you can use the link from that. I'm going to uh, just minimize this for a second. And I'm going to go to what's called SlideShare. Uh, SlideShare is to PowerPoint as uh, YouTube is to videos, so there's a whole bunch of slides here. All you have to do is sign up for SlideShare, um, and then you can upload your presentation, and then it'll give you a link that you can share in the discussion if you have difficulty uploading your PowerPoint into the discussion. All right, so that's it for now. Take care, everyone. I hope I helped. Bye!